Hello, and welcome to another episode of Battle Ready. Ready. And today we thought we'd talk about narrative gameplay. Yes. Specifically, uh, at least as of the time of this recording, we, it has been announced that there is going to be a narrative book for AOS. Right now, we don't know anything about it other than it's, it's coming, whatever it is. And it's actually sort of cool because there hasn't been a narrative product for AOS In a long since time. Thondia, since, uh, what do they call it? Seasons of War, Thondia. And uh, that's been a long time ago. Been a long time. Almost three years. Well, I guess the, the Dawnbringers were narrative. So, okay, those. But where it's just a standalone, dedicated narrative supplement, haven't really seen that in a long time. And so we got to thinking, what, what would we like to see from a narrative book? If it's just something narrative, right? It's not going to be for tournament play or it's not going to be for these other things. It's just going to be narrative. What do we want in that supplement? I'm sure it'll be a book. Yeah. Because Games Workshop loves books. <laughs> <laughs> but if that's what we're looking at, if that's if uh, that's going to be, what do we want to see? So, Drake, what if you could design your perfect narrative supplement, what would be in it? I would say uh, you could have, like, a campaign between something most people will have, Stormcasts and Rats. Okay. Because most people have bought the 4th edition starter set. Well, I don't know if most people bought that, but I, I see what you're saying. And can I expand on that? Yeah. I think what I would what I would really like to see is story mode in the same way, right, during the um, – after people bought Skaven Tide, mm -hmm. you were allowed to put in your code to see if you if the Skaven and the Stormcast went, right? Yes. But if you didn't buy Storm, uh, Skaven Tide, you were still allowed to play a game and vote on if Order or Chaos won. So that was outside the walls, mm -hmm. right? In the same way, I would love to see something. I don't know that it needs a, a code or something like that, but I would love to see something where it's like, here is what store what, what order is up to. They're trying to beat back this the Skaven Doom, and maybe Stormcast and cities are, are on the front lines. Maybe Caradron's doing something like that. Maybe Idaneth are also defensive. You know, but you give a little blurb to everybody about what exactly they're doing. Mm -hmm. And then you do the same thing for chaos, how they're pressing their advantage. And you do the same thing for destruction. How they just I, found this place and they're going to go They're just it. like, this is the best. I want to get in on this. And then you do the same thing for death, where maybe they're... That's one of the cities where Nagash had its own minions underground. Oh, yeah. They're popping up. Maybe. Or you can even say how they're... While all this other stuff is going on, they're trying to get Steal Nagash to reform or something. Oh, yeah, because he's... Right? Lore-wise, he's still... Right? Jelly. Well, he's reforming. So... You could you could do all these things, and, you, and so each grand alliance has a overview objective, and then maybe you have a little bit where each um, faction, just a little bit explaining them a little mm -hmm. bit, but then the battle plans aren't it, aren't you have to have storm cast and you have to have skaven, yeah. but it's just hey pick two grand alliances, have them punch and each then other. here's here's a little narrative background for how those two grand alliances. Or fight. Some, yeah, and why are they fighting? I, th I would love something like that, right? Because that way more people can, can play. Yeah, I would just say the only uh, way you could do that for a narrative thing is if they're attacking, like, uh, Hammer Hole, Hammer Hole, or something big where all Grand Alliances are going to sort of come in and deal with that. Well, yeah, well, what I'm saying is I don't think you need all Grand Alliances to care about one thing, because I think you're right. Mm. And that would be insane. probably too big. That'd right? be bigger than Excelsis. Yeah, especially after, it would make the Skaven Doom look... Small. Small in comparison, which would, which would be a shame. It would be a real shame. Mm. But what you would do is you would say, well, the undead are trying to do this thing over here, and Order is trying to do this thing over here. And so the battle plan it happens to be that the undead know about a storm vault that's just on the edge of uh, the Skaven Blight. Yeah. Right. Uh, the, the Gnaw. The Gnaw. The Gnaw. The Gnaw. The, the, just on the edge of the Gnaw. And Order, who's out there anyway, is like, all right, we got to make a detour and stop this before mm -hmm. they Blow it up. claim some kind of thing or whatever, right? So that way, everybody has a reason to do it, and you have you know, several different plot lines mm -hmm. for the different things, rather than say, all right, we're going to make one thing so important, every faction in the universe is going to be on it, right? All right. I think that would be really cool. Another thing I say, could say is instead of this big two armies fighting, meet each other and fight... Go super small, co-op mode. You're rummaging. You got caught inside the Skaven lands, and now you got to get out. That is a good point. I would love that. I would love that. 
not and co-op I think is a great opportunity. They've done a, they did a little co-op in second edition through a White Dwarf magazine, mm -hmm. right? And they really haven't touched it since. But something like that would be so cool, especially in a narrative supplement, because you wouldn't necessarily have to make it super balanced. But something like whether it's cooperative or siege stuff mm -hmm. or you know something that really makes the battle feel different where you don't have to worry about oh everything has to be equal i have a place of power on my side you, you have, have a place of power on your side oh we have to make sure all the things are set up mm -hmm. all the objectives are equally Instead spaced of walk forward and smash there's actually a reason you're walking forward yeah. and smashing yeah and i think a narrative supplement would be the perfect place to do something like rats, that rats, where rats, you rats, make rats. it hey th this is asymmetric right i'm the defenders in the city wall you're the guys trying to crush the city. And you have infinite guys. Right. Or whatever, right? But the rules are slightly different to, to reflect that. Mm. That would be a perfect thing for a narrative supplement. Yes, I would love, in addition to some battle plans for the different Grand Alliances, I would love a different play mode mm -hmm. that really leans into that narrative. Whether it's co-op, co-op would be my favorite. Yeah. But whether it's co-op or siege or tunnels multiplayer. or multiplayer, yeah. Something like that would be amazing. For a co-op, I could totally see, like, you roll on a mission table. It could uh -huh. almost be like a D&D &D thing. Uh -huh. We roll on a mission table, and one is just get out and such and such, blow up a reserve of warp oh, stone, sure. destroy could, yeah, it, yeah, yeah, yeah. assassinate a claw lord or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm sure there could be whatever they pick for uh, co-op. Whatever mode they come up with, there should be more than one battle plan. Mm -hmm. There should be multiple battle plans, or at least mo mo ways to make multiple battle plans. Um, yeah. All right, what else would you like to see? Um, maybe like special models. Okay, yeah. I, so I agree. I think if they want to release some models along with the narrative supplement, that would be cool. Um, but talking just about the book, what do you want to see in the book? What's going to make you think, oh, we got to get that? Story. Yeah, I feel like the narrative book should have a narrative. big chunk of narrative. Something telling us, okay, this far in, What's going on in the Gnaw? Have the have they been pushed back at all? Is the Gnaw growing? What's you know what do the uh, Gits think about all the Skaven that are coming up in their dank holes? Right, like how to tell us all about it? I think that would be really good. I think those three things are the things that for me would be the most essential. Mm -hmm. Now, one thing that's in all the battle tomes now, now or at least so far, the big mm -hmm. two. Two battle tomes. The two battle tomes. The two battle tomes so far um, is the Anvil of Apotheosis. Wait, there has been? Oh, yeah. So you can oh, make... Oh, yeah, for narrative. Yeah. You can make your character where you decide, okay, my character is going to be I a guy like grim this. Spittle. Yeah. You can make a Grim Spittle, yes. right? And he'd have just the, the powers that you want him to have and just the things. And he has a points cost. And, and then you can bring him in law. into your narrative so that your, your guy is very unique. It would, I think... I don't, uh, I'm not as big a fan of Anvil of Apotheosis. I think it's awesome, and I think people who like it should have it. I think it's good for the game. It's just not my jam, particularly. I think I've Drake would like it a lot orcs. more. I've got eight named orc characters. They need to I be think, different. I think it would be good for Drake. But I think that um, something like that, so if you have some story about the, the, the defenders of some city, or you know, whatever it is, there's a little anvil where you can make your guy to be like the guys in the story or to be one of the generals mm -hmm. from the guy in the story or something like that. But I think that's really the key. Now, one thing that often comes in, or I shouldn't say often, but at least it came in in, um, seasons of war, seasons of war. <laughs> yeah. Those are not asterisks. season of war. Yeah. Not seasons. Cause there was only one. They were like, so Oh, this tank. Hard. There's two kinds of battle plans, right? The first one was they had a set of five that sort of went in a row where you're supposed to have your, your couple of armies and you play one right after the other. And if you win this one, then maybe you get a bonus to the next mm -hmm. one or, or you get to choose which side you're on in the next one or something like that. But you have five that are basically any armies can play and that you and your buddy get to tell a little story. That's option one. Option two is they said, all right, in Seasons of War Thondia, this is what happened. Indrasta came out and fought these bone splitters and fought these uh, beasts of chaos. So here's the battle plan of that specific battle, and so you need these Stormcast models, these beasts of chaos models, and so forth. That's option two. Those are two dead armies right there. Should you do, would you rather see one, two, or both? 
So I would either want to see specific battle plan where you need this, this, and this, or what I want to see, here's what happened. Go ahead and make the story. Well, I guess my question is, would you want to see a series of battle plans that are more generic? They don't, they don't really, they're sort of like around the storyline, but they're not, they're not the story, but they're generic. So anybody can play with whatever models they want, basically. Yes. Or would you rather see, be able to create the story, even if it requires you to have particular models both. or particular you would want both in there yeah. yeah for me i would a million times prefer the first one really yes i would a million times want to have a story that i can tell with me and a friend me, me and a kid me. that is about my guys right and i don't have to have anything right if i don't happen to have that model i don't have to proxy i don't have to go out and buy it i can just tell my story with my guys and it tells a little story over, you know, five, six battle plans, whatever it is. When the battle plans get to the point where I have to buy specific models or I have to luckily, you know, if you don't own Ideneth Deepkin, well, this, uh, this battle plan is not for you then. Like, oh, great. I'm glad, you, I'm glad you put that in there then. I guess. I don't know. Um, I really would dislike that. Like I said, you could make it Grand Alliance based and I'd be more okay with that. But when you say it has to be not only these factions, but these specific models. Maybe hey, you didn't pick up Dominion? You don't have Indrasta? Guess you're not playing it. Is that the only way you can get Indrasta? Or no, she's, she's available separate now. Yeah. But at the time that Seasons of Warthania came out, I'm, she might have been available only through Dominion. So, yeah, it's like, I don't, I don't know. I don't know if that is the way to go. Because, one, you're going to be proxying, and that... It, I mean, it's fine. It's fine to do that. It's not bad, but it does, it does no, kill the narrative. I have no bit. problems with it. But if it's a narrative game where you want to see your siege and your armies and you've got so if a it's my orcs, dude. if it's my orcs and I have to proxy in the Beast Claw guys, mm -hmm. I would say, yeah, they're, they're mercenaries. They, they got hired to do that. Okay. Yeah, but they're still using orc bat war scrolls, not their mercenary war scrolls? Yeah. Okay. All they right. got taught. They well, were saying, me. if you don't do this, you're getting fired. All right. Well, for me, it does kill it a little bit to see proxies in a in a narrative game where the whole point is to be telling a story, right? The story is of the proxy. So eh, you could kill that part of it for me, but I would like to see something, and I would also like to see. It would be very interesting for me to see how if they can tell a story with the, the uh, battle plans, because sometimes they have a hard time with this. They used to do it in the Warcry games, but what would happen is. Oh, if you win, you go to this one. And if you lose, you go to this one. But then whoever won or lost, they would both go to the same one again. So it's like it didn't – you always end up in the same place no matter who won and who lost. So what, what was the point? So Jeez. I, Yeah, I feel like if you're going to do it, you should have like two or three branching paths at least, maybe more, where you have the different battle profiles and you can say, all right, I, we got to ending four – because of these wins and losses, rather than, oh, yeah, we all got it at the same end. Fine. Mm -hmm. Fine. Um, so I would like to see something like that. Yes. Big chunk of story. Big chunk, well, I don't know about how big, but a chunk of battle plans. And Co op mode. A new game mode. Co op mode. I think those are the three things that is really, are really going to get us excited for the narrative thing. If it's just more like, you know, you can buy this book and play with your fire slayers. We don't have Who fire slayers. Who has the baby dwarves? Very few people. <laughs> Seems to be the, the, one of the less popular factions. But yeah, we don't have that. So why would I buy a book that lets me play with not dwarves. play things, yeah. right? What if it only has co-op mode? That'd I doubt really small, that. That'd be a really small book. Yeah, I doubt that. I think that they want to justify making it expensive. And so it's going to have more in it than just that. Just What if it's just co-op mode and medium story length well we'll just have to see right if it's what whatever it's worth right if they if it's a small book but it's a small price maybe it's worth it that's yeah, probably not it's games workshop though probably won't be a small price mm. all right um let us know in the comments below what you think about uh, the narrative book what would you like to see right now we don't know anything about it so at least at the time of recording we don't know anything about it yes so what would you like to see what gets you excited what makes you think you know what even if you're not typically a narrative player, you think, oh, if I had this and this and this, I think I might have to pick that up. Let us know in the comments below. This has been another episode of Battle Ready. 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 <laughs>
comment. Thanks so much for watching.